on WGN Midday News. Now the medical watch saving a life in the time of a pandemic. Our behaviors have changed. Social distancing and masking are now part of our daily routine. But doctors want to remind us there's something else we can do to help those around us. CPR. The technique can be done safely even as COVID-19 continues to circulate. So the most critical thing is that you use both your hands and the heel of your palm here in the mid-center of the chest. It's still the same drill. Steady compressions, two inches in depth, about 100 per minute. There is a potential risk that you may break a rib, but that's totally okay. Dr. Pavitra Katini Shah showed us how it's done, right on the sidewalk outside University of Illinois at Chicago Medical Center, where she's an emergency room physician and has witnessed firsthand the benefits of bystander CPR. It gives me the chills right now just thinking about it because it makes such a difference. It's a scenario that could play out at any moment at home or out in the community. A person collapses due to cardiac arrest. The heart has stopped pumping blood to the brain and other organs. It can happen at Starbucks. It can happen anywhere in the city. It should be almost instantaneous. Someone is not responding. They're not waking up. If you start to do compressions, they wake up, great. No harm done. Maybe they're going to be a little sore, nothing else. Um, but there's no barrier uh, that should prevent you from doing it. But would you jump in to help a stranger? It's a question bystanders may ponder during the pandemic. If you are a bystander and a stranger falls down and is unconscious and potentially has had a cardiac arrest, if you can place a mask on yourself and place a mask on the patient and then perform compressions, then you are at a much lower risk of potential transmission to yourself. No studies have really shown that there's a confirmed risk of aerosolization of the virus. Um, so the jury's still out on what that actual risk is. But the risk to the fallen patient is known. For every minute that a CPR is not performed or hands-only compression is not performed, there's a 10% less chance of survival. So within 10 minutes, you have a 100% chance of pretty much dying. Around four to six minutes is when you start to have brain death. When it comes to kids, the recommendations are a bit different. Compressions and breaths. Most children have a cardiac arrest because of a respiratory problem. So it's very critical that you do compressions and breaths for children and kept back on the chest and continue to do 30 compressions to two breaths for at least five cycles. As part of the Illinois Heart Rescue Team, Dr. Katini Shaw wants everyone to take a few minutes to refresh their skills during what is CPR and AED Awareness Week. It just takes a little practice. Think of the beat to the song, Staying Alive as a Guide. The only feature that you need to know in order to administer CPR is that they're not responding. If they are not waking up, you are going to do no harm in actually administering CPR. And here's why it's so important in this time. Doctors are now seeing an uptick in out-of-hospital cardiac arrests, likely due to the fact that people are afraid to go to the hospital during the COVID-19 crisis. There are online resources that can walk you through a quick refresher CPR course or teach you the basics. We have links on our website.